Gennady Golovkin, Leona Murata, two middleweight titles on the line. Difficulty defending against the jab. It's a bad proposition against the most accurate jabber in the sport. Yeah, someone who can do that. Murata, when he threw that left hook to the body, he's able to do it from a decent range, and that was a good right hand that connected for Murata. And a left hook to the body. That might not be comfortable. Triple U looks strong, man. Powerfully built, big for the weight. Where his opponent abs are landed consistently enough that he's the one actually doing more damage. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. One Triple U's favorite combination is once he starts landing that jab, he starts throwing that long right upper count for Triple G. Kind of as the classic Triple G opening round. Getting that jab pumping, and he's had a lot of success to jab, and now Triple G starts to open up a little bit back on the jab, and you saw the uppercut and the left hook to the body. Cuts guys up, he swells them, he breaks noses, he breaks ribs, he punches and carry a lot of power, devastating. Oh, don't blow that. Talking about the jab, uppercut, left hook to the, to the body. Mata goes downstairs with a right hand right along the belt line. Right hand kind of coming across or around the guard more often than he'll throw it right down the pipe. But right now, we're seeing him straighten that out a lot more often. Yeah, definitely better off. I, I'm, I'm surprised, though, that Triple G is moving to... A body the shot in there from Murata. Good work here in the second round thought that this one could be a fight of the year candidate and as we talked about before that's probably not what Triple G wants so much as what he knows Murata is tabling. Triple G on the strength of one of those right hands from Murata. A good uppercut a moment ago. I think Triple G dug a left hook to the body right afterwards. A little tactic that I don't know if you go home with notes. Jonathan Banks, the trainer of Gennady Golovkin, telling him to change the rhythm up and that's one thing that Banks said he wanted to change for Triple G to bring to the table is a little couple right hands connect from Murata crowd certainly coming along more right hands from Murata to the head to the body good left hook there from Murata we've seen Triple G hurt to the body in that fight against Sergei Dragovchenko throwing a punch the punch you don't see is the one that hurts you the most it seemed like it had an effect on Triple G We've never really seen him hurt to the head much, if at all. We've also never seen him fight at four. Like Murata. If Murata continue, can, can continue to take the punches the way he has, this is going to become a very interesting fight. Yeah, that body shot hurt. You see him stretching out. This was the concern if you're a supporter of Triple G that Murata... I, I didn't expect. I thought he was going to get more respect to Triple G. He has not. He has met him in the center of the ring. He's gone punch for punch. And he's having great success. And Murata... Well. Round four begins, and Golovkin wastes no time with that left hook to the body, and then that patented left hook over the top, turning the thumb downwards. And he's okay hitting guys on top of the head or in hard spots. Men willing to engage on the inside, betting on their punch resistance. That's, how he, that's what he attributes his punch resistance to. Well, he's taking the punches very well, better than I would expect. Um, you know, Triple G generally affects guys very early, does a lot of damage. The hands of Triple G seem to be dropping a little bit. Murata, Ooh. back down to the body. Very impressed with what Murata's in the mouth, swelling. But there's no retreat in Japanese fighting. Murata now backing Triple G up. And the, the footwork of being the stronger man being able to back guys up, or he's had the power to, to offset them if they are going to be aggressive. So Murata is just walking through the shots and putting a ton of pressure. 10 seconds 
seconds ago, Golovkin. Oh, absolutely. That's what I said. I, I've been surprised at his punch resistance, his ability to take the shots and walk right through them. Because Triple G Golovkin coming up a 478 day layoff, just turned 40. Certainly not easing back in body from Triple G. Yeah, Romano's uh, we got, uh, Yoda's not giving Triple G a chance to ease into this 40 year old body. He's bringing it. Right hand to the body. How he responds after he lets his hands go. Throws with Good work with the left hand there from Triple G. A jab, a left hook. There's an uppercut in the mix as well. Um, even more exciting. No, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, the reactions aren't the same. He's tagged with an uppercut from Murata that flurries right back. Yeah, Triple G punch resistance, resistance to the body does not look good right now. If you're totally impartial, you've got to love the action right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the action, you know, but this is a very close fight. This is easily a butter for Triple G. And can his legs allow him to remain at weight right now from Triple G? Murata has not responded since that right hand. Murata trying to battle his way through this. This is the moment he's dreamed of throughout his boxing career. He does not want to let it slip away. He's slipping, he's sliding. Just like that, still putting himself in position to fire back. Up this corner telling him. Seconds of rounds there from Golovkin, and there's some of the rhythm that Jonathan Banks wanted to bring to Triple G's game. That's the first time that I really I could see Jonathan Banks' tutelage in that movement. Tries to get a little confidence boost going back to the field. Rada spent his training camp sparring with the Mexican journeyman Ricardo Luna, a light heavyweight, helping him kind of get used to that physicality, it's getting close. But Golovkin, even this version of Golovkin, just has so many more offensive ideas. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, he's an offensive machine. And honestly, you know, his defense is, is left, he's using his jab. He's slipping and sliding on the inside. Ooh, good luck hook upstairs there. And there were a trio of them in that sequence there for Triple G, and he comes up the middle with that um, technical strike to his offense. And he builds and he builds and he builds and he breaks you down. You're seeing him now as he finds his rhythm and he's built on all the work that he's done so far. The body language of Murata, the perimeter of the ring as well. And it looks like he's having to work to try and resist Triple G. The damage starting to accumulate. Yeah, it seems to me that, that Murata's being broken down. Murata losing velocity. There it is again. Murata, at least at this point, seems to lack the energy to even throw that right now. If he even sees, you know, what's happening. If he sees that from Triple G, who is starting to break down Ryota Murata. A whiteboard so that he can confront them. Right now, he has to confront all of his fears about what it would be like in the ring with Triple G. Because Triple G found his rhythm. And where did it all start when he knocked the mouthpiece out of Murata's mouth? Ever since then, it's been all Triple G. It's a little more rhythm, but part of it is Murata simply breaking down and not being able to pressure him the way he was in the first five rounds. Yeah, he's just not able to answer the way he was before, and, and Triple G is really putting... Putting up. Right hands, left hooks. You know, there's nothing coming back from Murata at this point. That's why Triple G is going to really mix these shots up, take his time. There's a big right hand from Murata. He was answering the questions of what he has left at 40 years of age. There's a good right hand from Murata. And he finds the ropes, goes Murata. Murata finally got underneath one of those left hooks. 
really just trying to block that. The triple G is trying to find a hole getting around the shots. There he is. Trying anything to get Triple G off of him right now. But I do believe the right hand has had more of an effect on Murata. Triple G, look for the home run. Those guys, every time he touches. Folks. Triple G. Looking for the knockout. Oh, those uppercuts. Murata yeah. just barely holding on right now. Triple G in a little bit of physicality there from Golovkin. I think he senses that the end could be near. This could be his opportunity to get Murata out of there. Yeah, this is the most effective that we've effective that we've seen Murata. And you see the grimace and the wincing. Acknowledging. Oh, big yes, left hook. With a perfect left hook from Golovkin, who is just hammering away on Murata. To defend himself, he's not in a position to punch back. Not on his big night. Ooh, Hard right big hand right from hand. Golovkin, and Murata goes down. In comes the towel. That is it. Just contextualize then those opening five rounds, then, Chris, because when we were talking about the feet of Triple G, you know, we were having questions about how he was looking. Was that easy or was it a little bit of wing rust? We'll talk about now. So in the end, Triple G gives us a classic Triple G performance, Chris. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Once he found his rhythm in round number five, he was, looked like the Triple G of all. You know, his asked for for uh, Rio to Murata. And, I mean, some dominant performance in the second half of the fight. But, hey, a lot of questions about that first half. Was it, was it, uh, was, was, was tough, came out, he met Triple G right in the center of the ring. He was giving as good as he was getting for the first five rounds. Mixing up his punches really well. The right hand's down low, the right hand's over the top. Was catching Triple G as his moves started to show what he's known for. Ripping those combinations, letting his hands go. Starting to bust up Murata as the fight wore on. The jab started off. Then it was the left hooks, the overhand rights, then go fight. Here we see classic combination of Triple G uppercut, left hook over the top. And this was the shot that knocked the mouthpiece out of the mouth of Murata in round number five. That's the turning point of the fight. And, and then again, it was the right hand over the top, which seemed to have more an effect on Murata all night long, more so than the left hooks, with the right hand, and that was what finished it. And there it is.